Hey on Dave here and welcome to Wallace and Gromit Overview. This seems somewhat familiar because the art style really reminds me of the very old school movie. I believe it was called Chicken Run or something. I mean, <laughs> very funny and I don't know if it was necessarily a family movie, but very specific and a cartoon style that you would never see anywhere before. With Wallace I don't think I'm familiar at all, so that would be like a new entry for me. Just like with Sam and Max, this is a very specific and niche thing, so it all is gonna depend on the ability of transferring the comedy and the storyline to someone that was never familiar with it. So Wallace and Gromit is a narrative adventure game where we'll be transporting to West Wallaby Street to the dangers of deep space, set a course on a well-deserved golfing getaway and experience the story full of heart and humor from their perspective. Okay, so here it says it's coming from the classic Aardman films and I am seeing that the studio is making like a whole bunch of series and adaptations which Wallace and Gromit is part of. It. The devs advertise as well the mixed reality features, which normally I try to focus on the VR aspect since that's kind of like my specialty because MR doesn't necessarily work properly here. It's kind of hard to judge this thing pre-planned. Everything really depends on your knowledge of that particular universe and if it's gonna transfer to literally everyone that gets into it. It's supposed to be like a mini game compilation with iconic environmental discovery and just a more deeper look into that world. For me Sam and Max was pretty cool and I didn't need to know the show to actually understand the jokes and just the dynamic of that duo but also this is specifically in hands of the developers to make that happen and then you can worry about the mechanics of the game. Regardless if I will like it or not I'm sure the fans will enjoy that. From a talented studio like that I'm sure they have something cooking up here. <laughs> Let's meet Wallace and Gromit. Wow, there are only deceptions. <laughs> like there's literally nothing else. That's interesting. They might be confident in their skills. How's our new auto caddy coming along, lad? Oh my god. A book Bogner Regis, lad, for our golfing getaway. It's like the old school windows. I don't want to be late for the panto. Hurry up, Romit. Uh. What the? May? So, Auto Caddy, you're all set. Tomorrow we're off on our little vacation, sightseeing, a round or two of golf, take in the local flora and fauna. You mean today, Wallace, dear. Uh, what's that, Beryl? We're due on vacances today, dear. The campsite is expecting us in half an hour. Oh, Lummy, this is yesterday's news. We're late for our golfing getaway. Oh, crumbs. And it's all the way down south. Oh, I love a holiday. We're going to have a blast. Blast? That's it. Groom it. Let's take the rocket. We'll get there in no time. I'll check the fuel. You get packing, lad. See you in a jiffy. Greetings, Auto Caddy. I'm a Mark III beverage and employee-related logistics contraption. That's Beryl for short, dear. I'm here to help whenever you need me. Just give me a wave. Why not try it now? Excellent work. Let's get packing. First things first. Golfers need golf balls. Ah, here we are. There's a button. Not sure what that's for. Give it a jab, dear. Okay, just first of all, what's happening? The animations... Well, they are accurate to the 
studio, essentially, because there are low frame rate, but like, it's their own specific aesthetic. Everything else seems to be smooth. The resolution seems to be fine, even outside you can see clearly stuff. It's like you'll be inside their movies, but there's no locomotion, so is it just like point and click experience? Ah, well, now we know. Can you pick that ball up? Now, to test your grabber function for those further away things... Hmm... Your settings will need a tweak. Give me a sec, I'll just update your software. Lovely jubbly. Give your new feature a whirl, Autogaddy. Grab that ball on the floor. Simply point towards it and pull the... Excellent work. So what about waving? Is it just now, tips? Now, find the rest of those lost balls. Raise both controllers up to your head, level with your eyes. Like so. Now press your triggers. Tickety-boo, you're in scan mode. If there's a travel spot nearby, you'll see an arrow, Ducky. You did it! Your system checks out perfectly. Now, scan and grab at your leisure to find the remaining golf balls, dear. I mean, if we have this scanning teleportation, why not just smooth lock or like... Just trying around would be... Much better for nowadays standards. Three down, two more to find. Bonza! We have our first item to pack. Chuck it in Gromit's suitcase. Like throw it? Ah, I forgot. There is one last thing to test. You have a nifty ball firing feature. That might be easier than throwing. Just pop the box in your mouth. What? Aim at the suitcase, Auto Caddy. <laughs> but the aiming is kind of like. Where I look, kind of, but. I need to lower my head, really. What next? Ah yes, at any point in our travels you can always check your notebook. The same goes for you too, Gromit. I know you love a list. Press this button to open your notebook. I wish I would hold it in my mouth and then can I spit it out as I release the trigger. This button's here, but... Here we can keep an eye on everything that needs our attention. To put your notebook away, just hit that button again. Righty ho! There's more to find, Auto Caddy. So scan, grab, travel, and fire away. Practice makes perfect. If you need help, just give me a wave, dear. Our suitcase filleth up. Happy hunting, boys. Keep an eye out for my cozy. It also bounced off of his head. <laughs> don't burn my slippers, Gromit. But either way, I don't like this mechanic. It's too inaccurate. Oh. Sky's all clear, lad. Good day for oh. flight. You're a hunting marvel. We'll be packed in no time. Rockets coming along, lad. Why do we need this? Check. Nearly full. What was that? Can I actually steer it? Ah, it's just... When I close it to my mouth, not really put it in already. 
<laughs> but still kind of like eh. Bravo! Oh, hello. Incoming call from uh, Wallace. Switching to voice com mode. Grommet, the rocket's fuel tank is full. Hurry, lad. I need your help down here for liftoff. Wallace out. We're packed and ready for the off. Auto caddy, to get underway, simply scan and travel through the door. Shake a bit there, Grommet. Well, we need to run some systems checks before blast off. When you've found something, give me the old thumbs up. There's a good lad. Uh, first up, and most importantly, cheese and crackers. <laughs> I love how he looks at me. And then, yeah, this is a nice ambience to have with characters. Though we're gonna be switching though, so that's interesting. Crackers. <laughs> Cause this is not it. I don't really know what to do. Ah, oh, there we go. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find something. Communication is key. Uh, cracking. <laughs> All systems check. Uh, emergency backup cheese and crackers. I think that's enough. Okay, well... Uh... Oh, there's a button. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find something. Communication is key. Oh, that's kind of a struggle. The grabbing is also inconsistent. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find something. Communication is key. I barely have a fam. <laughs> How many more do you need? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find something. Communication is key. Was it this? Oh. It's out of my pants. Ah, uh, I'm being over. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find something. Communication is key. How can you have wonky interactions in a game that requires a perfect dose of not. them?
Yeah, like that makes any sense. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find something. Communication. Grand. Now then, auto caddy contraption. Excellent. Ah, Beryl. Oh, she's tuned out. We'll need her help on our holiday mission. I'm a Mark III beverage and employee-related logistics contraption, but you can just call me Beryl, dear. And please slow me down. I'm feeling dizzy. Vomit! I'm on the round way. Oh, say, I, I'm ring to the rope. See you, Gromit, you wee sassenach. What you doing? Hello, I'm Beryl. Nice. Well, hello there. Taking the rocket for our hollybobs, Wallace? Aren't we being a bit, well, supersonic? Supersonic, exactly, Beryl. It's the fastest way to travel. And finally, newspaper, which I have right... Uh, oh. I could have sworn I had it earlier. Mm. Uh, now, I was reading it in the living room, uh, and I know I had it when I came in there. Uh, oh, just not sure where I... Uh, hmm. Hit that flashing button, Gromit. Engaging newspaper retrieval oh. system. Ah, uh, <laughs> there it is. All systems are go. Seems our new control panel has a few teething problems, hmm? Uh, take a look under the hood, Gromit. There's a good lad. Come on, Gromit. Let's investigate. Red flashing light means I'm broke. Green light means I'm tickety-boo. And we want green, dear. All day long. Christ. Make those lecky leads. Careful now. Huzzah! One section fixed, two to go. What the? Worms! Quite literally. Use the vacuum to clear them away. The gears ain't here. Have a rummage about. Oh, I do love a rummage. Oh, my God. Here's a good pet. Oh, my audio sensor. Find the oil drop and throw that infernal racket. Oh, silence is bliss. Turn that crank from it. There's a love. Come on. We're out of milk. Now, where's that jug? I don't think I saw milk, though. <laughs> what the? Milk topped up. Now for the jam. You're a legend, Gromit. Two sections cooking on gas, one more to sort. It seems we have a missing interplanetary navigation ship. Now, it's most important, my darlings, and I really can't emphasize this enough. No journeys beyond Earth's atmosphere, okay? Without a chip, it's one-way travel only. Perish the thought. Is there anywhere we can stick it? This doodah pumps the handbrake here, yeah. so put some elbow grease into it. And now I'm being silent, I just save my impressions for later. Moon. Mars. Preston. Bogner Regis means holiday. So 
Shall we go? Hmm, we've lost power. I know there's a switch somewhere about. Try turning it off and on again. Rub it. You're a genius. Now hit that launch button, Gromit, and let's blast off to Bognor. I'll pass. I have to go. <laughs> I think in terms of immersion and being inside the studio's films, it does a good job. Maybe some items are less detailed than it should, though the characters seem very high quality, much like the environments with the resolutions and stuff. I don't particularly like the interactions because they're not consistent, like sometimes you pick up stuff, sometimes not. For some reason now everything works. You saw the gameplay and the struggle, so it's not like I was simulating. <laughs> dry. Need to fill it from the kettle, dear, but make sure the kettle's boiled. And tell me if I'm nagging, won't you? And there is some comedy to it specific to this series. It's a little bit disappointing. It's point and click adventure. Like, there's no locomotion. It's just some clicking, pointing, gestures, kind of basic stuff. So if you're like a big fan of this, then you might enjoy it though. I'm not really that interested and certain mechanics I feel like could use some polish.